Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at another Winnebago Navion slash view. This one is model 24V with two twin beds in the rear. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at another Winnebago Navion. Now, the reason why I said slash view is because for those of you who don't know, the Winnebago Navion and View are sister products. They are the exact same thing, and the manufacturers do that so one dealership can sell Navion, and across the street they can sell the same exact thing, but it's not the same exact thing, it's the view. Uh, and because there's territorial rights and all that weird stuff. Uh, before we begin, I want to say hi to Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Hi, everybody. Hey, what a great shirt you're wearing. Yes. How can somebody get one of those? By, by following us on Instagram. At Matt's RV Reviews. Thanks, everyone. And thanks for coming out, babe. Cool. So to get started, model is 24V. But the actual tip-to-tip -tip length is 25 feet, 5 inches. This is on the new Mercedes chassis, and the best way you can tell is with the headlight design. The other one had kind of a bigger bug eye look. This has a newer chassis. Now, there is two different types of the Mercedes chassis. Uh, this one's called the 2BE chassis, and it's not as upgraded and fully featured as the regular fully upgraded Mercedes chassis, but this motorhome also has an $8,700 discount to where the upgraded ones with all the bells and whistles is gonna have. And it's really complicated, the differences between them, but if you look in the description below, I will have all the differences between the 2BE chassis and the regular chassis. Great. Coming down the side, you can see that this motorhome has full body paint. That is an option. Uh, the standard is also full body paint, kind of, but it's more simpler. Here's what it looks like without the full body paint. Uh, and again, it is an option. Up here, you do have a seamless fiberglass cap for the bunk over the cab. And what I mean is, notice how there's no seams? It's one piece fully molded. Coming down the side, uh, you do have a nice armless awning with LED lights. Let me show you what that looks like when it's all the way out. But first, check out this door. Uh, the way the Winnebago Navions and View are, uh, the best way I call this door, I call it like an airplane door. Would yes, you agree? it looks like it. Yeah, it really it, does. Yeah, it, it's just really made well, and it's really awesome. Great. Power awning with LED lights, and this awning does have a wind sensor, so if the wind blows too hard, the awning will automatically retract itself back in. Fun fact about Winnebago that I did not know if you saw my last Winnebago Navion video, model 24D, and if you want to see that one, if you haven't already, there is a link in the description below. But a fun fact is Winnebago actually uses Asdale uh, in their sidewalls for the fiberglass. And what Asdale is, it's a composite that will never delaminate on you. Other SOBs, some other brands, they will use Luon to merge the fiberglass together, which is a woody, gluey substance. So whenever there's any little bit of moisture, that's when you get that delamination. Uh, Winnebago, that will not happen to you. I love the aluminum slam latch doors. There's one. Coming down the side, why don't you check out that tire? Pretty nice. You have your Cummins Onan generator 3600. Now check this out. There's so many different options and variations on this. This is an LP generator. You can get this motor home with a diesel generator. And right there is an LP quick connect right there for an outside grill. Over here you got some storage there. And then a little bit more storage right there. Coming around the back. You do have a hitch. It is rated for 5,000 pounds and you can tow 5,000 pounds. This is the other side of that storage. 
you do have a backup camera there. Also, you have a one-piece fiberglass roof. Let me go up there and show you what it looks like. Up here on the roof, you can see that there's not one, but there is two Sun Power Solar Charger 200 watt. Right there is a King Air digital antenna. Right there you have a 15K air conditioning unit with heat pump. And right there you have a couple Max Air fans right there. And you can see that nice bunk over the cab, how it's kind of elevated. Also, it makes it so the awning is flush, so it just gives it a more streamlined look. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesmen go take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Coming around the driver's side, finishing up with the outside, you have a Truma tankless instant hot water heater right here is your wet bay 30 amp power cord 1ac unit all right there also if you look underneath all the way down it does have electric stabilizing jack nice that's a plus right here's your portable water fill with a key lock so nobody poisons you right over here is where you flush out your black tank and then here what's over here here's a fresh tank with a with a dump station right there and then right here is probably your propane. Yep, here's your propane tank. It is a 12.2 gallon propane tank. Also, the fuel capacity, I always forget this on Mercedes. Here's where you fill up your fuel, your diesel fuel. It is a 26.4 gallon fuel capacity. Also, I'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome, tanks, uh, lengths. lengths, widths, all down in the description below. Great. Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. After you. I just, I really got to show this door again. Yeah. I'm just amazed. Yeah, it's like a super thick, and seriously aircraft I, style door. Yeah, and I love that it has blinds up there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can pull the so blinds check this down. Out. Well one, you have that for privacy. Right. But something else that I did not mention in the last Winnebago video is this. Oh, <gasps> love that. That's pretty cool. Oh my. All right, let's get on inside. <laughs> cool. So in, inside the Winnebago View 24V, this is what the slide out looks like at all times with the slide out closed. It is still super spacious. Oh, yes. You have those two beds back there that you can get to, and it's very easy to get to the bathroom back here. Oh, wow. The awning's going back in on oh, its own. Oh, snap, look at that. What a cool feature. Start the engine up and the awning just came in on its own. Yeah, just in case you forget. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. There we go. And the slide out's working. Man, that's really cool. Now, hey, while the slide out's going out, I have a huge favor to ask. If you could, leave down in the comments below. Let me know three things you like about this motorhome. And let me know three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more people who comment and hit that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote, promote our videos to. And Andrea, guess how many people are now part of the RV review crew? How many? 18,500 people. Oh my gosh. We appreciate That's it, That's amazing. Thank you guys. And if you're watching this within the first 72 hours of this video being out, I want to let everybody know this weekend coming up, I will be at the Chantilly RV show in um, Chantilly, Virginia. I hope to see you there and meet you there. Why don't you let them know the days, Matthew? I don't know. Oh, the 10th through the 12th. And then the following weekend, I'll be at the Tampa RV show. So, up here in the cockpit area, uh, this is the new Mercedes chassis. You know, it has the new design and everything. Here's a fun fact. This screen right here is about six inches, right? Six inches, right? How you can tell if it's the 2BE chassis is that. If it's the upgraded chassis, it will have a big 10 inch display right here but when you say stuff like um hey mercedes hey mercedes how can i help you you know what i'm saying 
You know, it's kind of like my wife. I have to ask twice sometimes. <laughs> oh, 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 no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, you know, it's voice command and all that cool stuff. You know, you got your carbon fiber right here, your cup holders. What I'm a huge fan of is the push to start. Also, um, right here, this is now your gears. You push in the park, just like this, and then you go up to be in, in reverse, down to be in neutral, and double down to be in drive. Okay. Pretty cool feature. Both seats do swivel down to become part of the living area. All right, Mercedes, turn off now. Um, and then up here is the bunk over the cab. This bunk can hold 350 pounds. It can fold up out of the way if you didn't want it there for more headroom. You got your power cords up there. And what I'm a fan of is, isn't that cute right there? Yes. Just a little uh, uh, sticker thing. The little camper. Yeah, the little Winnebago camper. And then above you, you have a Max Air fan vent cover, and it is the real legit one. And of course, it has a ladder. Of course. Of yes. Course. Cool. Over here in the living area, this is one of my favorite features about this motorhome. Oh, yeah. A recliner sofa. Very nice. Very, very nice feature to have. I like it. And you guys know me. It is looking directly across from the television, so I like that. Also, Andre is looking. Uh, there's a table right there that goes there for when this is and these chairs the seats are swivel right yeah swivel okay cool over here in the kitchen area you've got your tv right here with storage look at that paper towel holder oh nice yeah pretty pretty neat over here's the sink wow nice farm style sink stainless steel two two bowls really nice a nice solid surface countertop here as well you also have induction and propane, so you got the best of both worlds. And then this is a microwave convection oven, so you can cook pizza and bake brownies and all that good stuff. So look, check this out. This is what a lot of people have been having a problem, trouble with. To open these doors, you press them in, and then you use that as a little handle, and you got storage there. Oh. Why well, a lot of people love the um the views and Navions other than the Mercedes chassis it's just how smooth uh, streamlined the cabinetry look yes and how it's white and bright and modern looking you know Absolutely. really cool features uh, yeah so full body paints an option and that's an eight thousand one hundred twenty dollar option so as great as it looks you know you don't need it some people like it some people don't it's 50 50 you know and you got your MCD blinds right here in cabinetry above right there let me show you this refrigerator here's the refrigerator this is a great size refrigerator for such a small motorhome yes, like this is. and everybody's telling me that this is the uh, new compressor type of refrigerator that runs solely off batteries i don't know too much about this to tell people i don't want to tell you guys wrong but it is the new technology and it runs off solar and it's really cool and it runs off the batteries uh, and then here's your solar charger and everything, slide out room, and your inverter right there. Great. Now for the price. MSRP. So I'm going to give you guys two prices right now. Um, what I'm going to do is, oop, back up a little bit please. Okay. Keep me in the center. Right here for a 2020 Winnebago View 24V without full body paint. MSRP is 155066 with 25% off MSRP. That's the lowest we're allowed to advertise it for. The sale price is 116995 Now, right here, is this exact Navion 24V with the full body paint option puts the MSRP at 163186 25% off MSRP again puts the sale price at 122995 but Andrea that's not the best price we can do better you know what they can do they can call you text you email you and FaceTime hey yeah 301-906-0962 matsrvreviews at gmail.com or www.matsrvreviews.com thanks so much let's continue the video oh Call me, text me, whatever, and I'll get you a lot better price than that. Believe that.
I just have customers from North Carolina. You guys will see next video because they're picking up tomorrow and they want to be in the video. So you'll see it. Today is, what's today? Monday? Monday. You'll see them Thursday. Okay. Check out that bathroom. You go first. They came all the way from North Carolina to buy an RV from me. Okay. We have the best customers in yeah, the Yeah, we do. Um, this is the weirdest shower I've ever seen. Isn't it? Well, you got to remember, it's you're a, a smaller obtuse. RV. It's an obtuse. Yeah, it's just weird. Spacious. I like that. Well, least, I don't hate it. At least they didn't put the sink in the shower. Right, right, right. Know? So so the Winnebago uh, 24G did that, if you guys remember. They don't make that one anymore, I don't think. Or if they do, we don't have one. But uh, the sink, like, you know. Was in the shower. Yeah, it was really stupid, actually, believe it or not. Over here. Oh, oh porcelain. porcelain. So the 24D, they did not put a porcelain toilet in just because it was a little too heavy because it had such a big slide. This one, since it has that small slide, it um it can have the porcelain toilet. It passes, not with an A. I don't got all this space. The the prime pooping position score. Oh man, I'm gonna ooh, we're gonna start keeping score. I'm gonna give it like a 77, right? It gets the job done. I'm comfortable, but you know I can't. You know it's it's a small motorhome, and you got your sink right here. Cool. It's got some little shelves down there. Yeah. Which is nice. Pretty nice. And cabinetry there. Mirror. And you do have your Max Air fan right there as well. Yes. Cool. Let's finish up with the bedroom. All right. All right. This is. Hold on, Matthew. I wanted to show the towel rack. Yeah. This is really the make it or break it for this exact model, the 24V. People either love it or they hate it the double twins in the back. The reason why I'm a fan of it is because it does make a king size bed when it all comes together now. Uh, also, this is the way it is at all times. So you don't need, like there's some motorhomes you have to put the slide out out to use the bed, which is not that big of a deal. But if somebody's not feeling well while you're driving down the road, you know, they could be laying back here. Now technically, legally, I don't think you're allowed to be, but you know what I'm saying. I'm not telling you to do that, but that's what we would do. You got cabinetry all around you. Look at this. This is this is very nice. You got it all the way around. I like the mood lights. Yep. You got the windows right here, MCD blinds. Oh man, look at this. I mean, you can get some oh, nice cross that. ventilation there, uh, and just really good design. You know, again. You do have a TV. TV right there. Would. Would Andre and I buy this model? Probably not. But I can, but again, you know, if we were to buy one, we would only be buying one and we sell 600 different varieties, you know, but do I see the value of this, of the twins? Absolutely. Especially if one of the spouses has a sleep app machine, they can put it here. Or if somebody rolls around too much. Yeah, or if somebody like takes up the whole bed. You know, they are like, <laughs> you know, whoop, rolling around and everything. But yeah, and then you got drawers underneath there. And it's just a really nice motorhome. You got oh, a cabinet yeah. here. Yeah, I didn't even see those. Okay, and then you got a cabinet nice here. Cabinet. And then you got, oh, there's the table. And nice. another cabinet. Okay. Great. Well, Andrea, as great as this motorhome is, it's now time that we give them three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. What should we do first? I say we, we do three things that we love about it. Okay, first. Okay. Um... So first and foremost, okay, I got it. Ding! I'll finish up with that. We'll go outside. First and foremost, I love the fiberglass roof and I love the, the streamlined look of the awning. It's just a more sophisticated look. You know, it doesn't look like a camper where they just slap the awning on it. I like how it like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like blends in with that bunk over the cab. Really nice look. Second thing I love about it, I love the new Mercedes chassis, you know, you, you know, you're paying a lot of money for it, but the way it looks, the way it drives, the way it handles, this little motorhome has a ton of get up and go. And I see why a ton of people like these little things, you know, especially if you're going in the mountains and up to Alaska and everything, this, this unit gets it done. Crap. I got to mention this door. I got to mention the door. Also, wait, did we, what's in here? Is this like a little cubby? Yeah. 
I just, I can't get over the door. It's just. Yeah. I mean, with this screen. And the screen, it, I love that. This is really smart. But I want to finish up with this. I love the sofa. Way too many times, all these small 24 foot motorhomes, they will only have the dinette and they won't have the sofa. Me personally, if I had to get one out of the two, I'd rather have the sofa instead of the dinette. That's just me, but again, I'm not the one buying it. A lot of people probably rather have the dinette over the sofa. Great. That's three, well, that's five things we love about this motorhome. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for us to give three things we don't like about this motorhome. Boom, boom, boom. Hmm. Okay, I got one. I got two. I got three. Okay. Okay, you ready? I'm Do you ready. have one? Kind of. What, what's your kind of? Um, I think... I, I, I'm not real fond of the shower, but it is. Yep. Okay. It is a small. It, it is. Well, it no, is a no. smaller motorhome, so yeah. you have to kind of give up things. Okay. Well, no, no. Let's make that the first dislike. I agree with you. Everything you say is always right. Absolutely. So yeah, the shower. It's just funky. It's not the best shower in the world. It's definitely not the worst shower in the world. It's better than the sink being in there, but yeah, you're a hundred percent right. I it's agree doable. with you there. It's doable. It, it's doable. It's doable. But how much time do we really spend in, in the shower when we're Exactly. Traveling? It shouldn't be a deal breaker right. on this motorhome. The second thing I'm not a huge fan of is just, again, not wow. a big deal. It's just a small microwave convection oven. It's just very small, um, but small motorhome, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, I, I don't have the perfect answer for you. So check it out. You would, if you got the next size up, you would lose this much storage. So, again, just... Oh, love, they, snap! They have that. Soft I love it. Soft-closed drawers. I, I oh, love man, that. I didn't even show people that. But, yeah, just a small thing right there. What was the number three? Oh, yeah, we talked about this. Last Winnebago Navion. Not a big deal. But the way the door flips up like that... Andre and I, we just prefer it if the door swung open sideways. But, no big deal. Still a great motorhome Absolutely. at a great price. If you have any questions about this RV or any other RVs, feel free to call, text, send me an email, or even FaceTime me. My personal cell number is 301-906-0962. And Andrea, you know how many people are like, oh my god, dude. I can't believe you actually picked up because like seven or eight people FaceTimed me last video, which is pretty funny. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, just random. If you're watching this, randomly FaceTime me. You know, I'll, I'll pick up. That's how we roll. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can send me an email as well. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com, or check out my website www.mattsrvreviews.com. Everything you need to know is down in the description below. If you want to see the 24D or any other Mercedes chassis RV video, and yeah, that's it. Andrea, oh, again, thanks so much, Andrea. Remember, everybody follow me on Instagram for a chance to win a free shirt. Also, everybody remember, if you're going to the Tampa RV show, make sure that you get a shirt like this so Matt knows who you are and so he can get you the best deal. Yeah. Thanks so much, everyone. Andrea, close it out. We'll see you next time. Oh.